What is going on guys, I am back with part 5 on how to build this Tudor style house and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the furnishings on the inside. Okay guys, so real quick before you head on in the inside, make sure just to use your sea lanterns for this front porch area right here before you forget. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just head off to the left side over here through this hallway and I'm going to head to this bedroom and start doing this first. So I'm going to grab some, let's see, some dark oak wood stairs and maybe some dark oak wood slabs. I'm going to put a little design in the ceiling right here. So because this is just like a block higher, we have the ability to. So I have some dark oak wood stairs. I'm just going to wrap it all the way around and this is going to act as a as like crown molding that you would have normally at the top of your roof and then sometimes you or top of your ceiling sometimes you have like a um, some wood down here at the bottom we're not going to do that just for the ceiling and let's see if we could do a little design here maybe like a slab there and a slab there and just bring it across So you should have two spaces in between all of them and then maybe we could put one right down the middle. Okay that's pretty good. I think that's what I had at the last house. So that's just a little design you could do instead of, instead of just having like a regular ceiling. And now uh, I normally do the bed first when I do my interior and keep in mind guys I'm just giving you ideas of what to do. You don't have to do it block by block like me. So I'm in, I am going to go a little fast, but I'm just going to be like showing you exactly what you could do. Some ideas you could put in the bedrooms and stuff like that. So I'm going to grab some gray concrete, some block of quartz, and then maybe some quartz slabs. Oh, we're also going to need some snow. Okay. So let's have one, two, three blocks of quartz like that, a slab on top, and then one more in the middle. We'll have one, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Four blocks like that for the bed. We'll cover up three like that with the snow. And then at the bottom, we're going to have three blocks of quartz and then half slabs. And that is it for the bed. For some other decoration, we could, let's see. We could have like a little thing right here. So with the gray concrete, you could put two here, two here, and two here. And then you could grab some wooden trap doors and just place it on the side of that. Okay, so that's kind of like a dresser type thing or storage thing right there. Uh, over here, Let's see, uh, I don't really think I had much in this room. I think I had a, uh, a desk right here. So we'll put a desk here. Let's go ahead and grab some gray wool, gray carpet, and then some string. And we're also going to need a quartz stair. So we'll replace the snow. And I'm gonna have, we'll have it off to this side. So two, two blocks of gray wool right there. And then one, two, three, right beside that. So it's like this L shape. We'll have three string right there. And then gray carpet on top of this entire thing. So that's a little desk. And then you could use a quartz stair and place it right around there. So there we go. We got that filled in. And we could have a, uh, a painting right here. So we could put some sea lanterns there for some extra light. As well as this spot here. And we won't put one there. Let's put a little table over here. So I'm gonna put a quartz stair upside down. So we have one space on each side and then two slabs in the middle. 
and then we can have a painting right here okay we could also put some carpet in the ground or like in the floor and put sea lanterns underneath the carpet so you have some light coming through so I'm gonna grab some sea lanterns and let's replace the string put two in there four right here as well as here okay and then we might have to put some in the ceiling but for now let's go ahead and take care of this area so we could have maybe a flower pot and a flower where's that at right here and then we'll have like a blue orchid so we could put a flower pot a flower and then let's grab a skeleton skull and put it like that and then right here we could have a painting so let's grab the painting replace that okay there we go that's pretty good we could have another painting over here that's good and then one more here okay and now let's see I'm not sure if that's light enough let me go ahead and just get rid of that potion yeah it's still pretty dark what else could we do we could have a small table right here and maybe just put uh, an end rod here whoops so just two upside down stairs side by side right there and then we could do a similar thing here and make sure if you do put an end rod on here it's not too close to that snow right there I think if I put it on the left side it should be fine and we'll put that one there and then we could put let's see I'm gonna use a spruce sapling and then a flower pot okay and then right here we could have a strip of carpet but first we'll put some sea lanterns in the floor what happened oh I already have a sea lantern I didn't see that okay so we'll put a strip of sea lanterns like that and that should be enough light there is still some dark spots in the ceiling uh, if you wanted to you could go ahead and do that I don't really like that though let's go ahead and patch that back up And I think at the other house, I just had maybe one like, let's see, we'll put one here, one here, and then one here and here. That's good. And we'll cover that up with some wooden trapdoors. So it's not the best look, but it's like the best thing we could do just to give off some light. So that's fine. And now, let's see, oh yeah, we'll cover this up, we'll grab some, let's see, gray carpet, and which I already had some, <laughs> and light gray carpet. So two on each side with a light gray maybe, and then just fill in four spaces in the middle with gray. And that is it for the bedroom. Okay, yeah, we're done. Alright, and that's bright enough, so we are good whoa <laughs> let's uh equip that potion again see that's why i don't want to place sea lanterns everywhere like normally if i didn't have the potion i'll be placing sea lanterns like all over the floor all in the ceilings all over the walls so i don't want to just do that and have to delete them all and then just replace it when we actually put the sea lanterns in so i think the potion makes it a lot easier and sorry if the potion particles bother you guys but I, it doesn't bother me at all when I'm building and I when I'm editing my videos I don't even notice it but I'm sure like when you guys are watching it might be a little bit distracting so I'm sorry for that but we'll go ahead this is the bathroom so I'm gonna use some quartz stairs and have a bathtub right here all right over here I'm going to have a toilet so this is like the 20th time I've done this. So a block of quartz, a quartz stair, a quartz slab, and then we need a weighted pressure plate and a button. So weighted pressure plate like that and then a button. I know sometimes I go a little bit fast because I do it so much, but I think you guys can keep up with that one. So just a block of quartz, 
a slab on top of it, upside down quartz stair, a weighted pressure plate, and a button. Okay, up here, we'll put a painting right around there, and then we won't have one there. Uh, we could put some, let's see, some um, white stained glass panes, maybe right here. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see, what if we put three more? Uh, that's too much, so that should be good like that. So that's like a door for the bathtub. And then over here I had a sink. So I'm just gonna grab a block of quartz. So let's see. Um, we'll have one here and two here. No, we'll do the opposite. So two there and one there. Go ahead and grab a hopper. All right, and then you could use a lever to act as the faucet for the sink. Okay. Right here, you could have a painting. So let's grab our sea lanterns. Oh, we already got, we got four now. I keep forgetting it's like all the way in the corner over there. Let's make sure to get our potion again. I accidentally got rid of it. Oh no, I just got rid of the sea lanterns. All the way over here, there. So four sea lanterns here, and then one over there. And that should be enough light, actually. We don't need that much light in here since it's already pretty bright with the colors. So let's get a painting. We'll replace the weighted pressure plate. Let's patch all that up. So we'll have that painting, that's good. I like that color. And then over here we'll have, that's too much blue. Uh, let's have, that's good right there. It's a little bit of color right there on the wall. And let me unequip the potion. Okay, uh, that's a little, little uh, bright. I think I had a sea lantern in the ceiling, maybe like right around here. We could have another one here if you want. And now that's bright enough, cover that up with a wooden trap door. And that's good, okay. So that is the bathroom. Oh, we could put a little bit of designs here if you want. So I'm gonna grab a flower pot with this one. I don't know how to say it. So we'll put one like right around there. And that should be good. You could put an end rod in the corner here. It's a little dark. And there we go, so that is the bathroom. No crown molding in here because the ceilings aren't high enough. Okay. And now in here, we're going to need the potion again. I just had like a little sitting area here and then I had some books on this side. And then some carpet down the middle for some light. So let's do the ceiling first with sea lantern. So maybe one right here and here. And then here here maybe one I don't think we need one in the middle we'll have one more over here uh, is that good maybe right around there it's not even but that's okay we'll cover that up with wooden trap doors all right let's grab some gray concrete And we're going to have some chairs right here, so we'll grab some snow as well. So we got one, two, one, one, two. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, one, two. So you should have two spaces in between them and one space on each side before it touches the wall. And then grab some snow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I guess if you wanted to, you could use some quartz stairs and maybe have like a little table right here. Yeah, that works. Okay, we could have some flowers. So we'll use, actually I'm gonna use the birch sapling. Okay, like that. And I actually think I just discovered something. What if I do that? Oh, look at that. Eh. 
I don't know, I guess we could actually just use a block right there. But I never noticed you could put trap doors like that on the side of the stairs. Huh. You know what, I'm gonna keep it like that, why not? And it kind of looks like there's something, just like a little opening in there. Like some storage, so I'll leave it like that, why not? Or what if we got rid of it? No, we'll do it. Okay, that looks cool. Over here, I had a bookshelf. So I'm gonna use some oak wood stairs and then an oak wood slab and then the the uh, the books, like the bookshelf. Wherever that is, I never use it. Here it is. So we we'll replace that. And then I had oak wood stair there, oak wood stair there, and then a slab, I think. Maybe if we have that, that's good. So you could actually just have a full block here or just like two slabs like that. And then one, two, three layers of books like that. A slab on the top and maybe a slab like that in the middle if you like that. I'm just going to keep it flat on the top. So that's a little bookshelf you could do. And then in the middle here we could have some carpet with some sea lanterns in the floor. And we're going to have the sea lanterns off to the right side of here so it's not too close to the snow. So I'll carve this all out up until there's one space until we reach this doorway. And let's see. Um, I actually don't know why I cut out that many holes. So fill this in. And then one space over here. Okay, and then we're gonna have three, actually, yeah, we'll have three strips of carpet, but then just one strip of sea lanterns right here. Okay, I'm gonna use white, light gray, and gray carpet. Okay, so light gray on, on the edge. We'll make it four wide. So we got one space between the carpet and the chair right there, and then one space between the carpet and this bookshelf. So it's kind of in the even, or wait, kind of in the middle. Why did I say kind of in the even? And then we'll stop it right here. Okay, so now we're going to have four blocks of light gray on that side, then a strip of white, and then the middle is going to be gray. All right, there we go. And that is it for this hallway now. Okay. Okay, now for this little walkway right here between the staircase and this wall, I just had some paintings on the wall with sea lanterns and then like a little table right here as well as over here. So let's go ahead and cut out four blocks here. Oh, hang on. Uh, what did I do there? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and patch that up. Like that, and then we'll just put two sea lanterns there, but we'll have a, uh, a painting that's four blocks wide. Or like four blocks. So let's go ahead and grab a painting. And that one's good. Okay, so we still have light coming off of there. Let's go on this side. And we'll have another painting and we could just go ahead and let's see, we'll just patch that up so you can't see any light shining through the stairs. Okay, and now we'll have four blocks of sea lanterns right there and then a painting on top of that. Okay, so then I had a little storage thing here. So we'll have, uh, have four blocks like that with the storage thing and then some wooden trap doors on the side. And then we'll also have maybe some flower pots with a blue orchid and then a wither skeleton skull. So a flower pot right there with a flower and then a wither skeleton skull like that. Over here. Do we have anything? 
Uh, I'll just have a little table here. It's still going to be two blocks wide, so that's enough space to walk through. Okay, so we still got that much space. I don't know, I think it's a little small. So I'll just leave this side empty. If you guys want to put something here, feel free to do it. But I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to have a strip of carpet right down here though. With some sea lanterns to give off light. And I'll bring it out to right there. And then we'll put two gray carpet on each side. And then light gray in the middle. Like that. Alright, let's do the laundry room now. So, I'm going to use some quartz stairs and then a block of quartz. So, we'll have two blocks of quartz right here, lined up with the doorway. Quartz stairs on this side, and then over here, and we're going to curve it. Then, we'll go up one more block, or we're like going to skip one block, and then have another set of stairs like that. And then, right here... We'll delete these, let's grab some slabs, put two right there, and then two right here, because this is going to be the dryer and washer, the washer and dryer. So we have a little opening here, and then I'm just going to put another layer of quartz stairs on top of this. And that's pretty good for the laundry room. Now, let's grab some item frames, and then some... What are they? Discs? Let me see. Oh, yeah, like a music disc. So I'm gonna grab this one, the one that looks like it's white. So we'll put two item frames there and then two discs. And then I also had, let's clear our inventory. Make sure to get our potion. What's there at? Okay, so three minutes, we'll hurry up and use that. And I had some carpet that are just different colors to act as like clothing for this laundry room area. So maybe some blue, some cyan, some green, maybe black, pink, purple, red, brown. So we'll have blue here, blue here, right here, up here as well. And then some cyan like here and here and then one up there some green right there right there one in the corner that's good we'll have one here and in this corner we'll have black right there and right there and pink right there so you just want to basically mix it up and i'm also going to actually i if you want to you could use some snow caps and just like layer it on so it looks like multiple layers of clothing but just make sure not to have it too close to any light source it will, or it will melt. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Let's put a few more colors down. Here, we'll, we'll put that one there. And I don't know, I think, I think that's good. Let's not fill in every space. And now let's grab some snow. And we'll have like two right there. So it looks like it's a different, or it looks like there's more pieces of clothing stacked up on top of each other there. And we'll have one right there. And keep in mind, we're going to have sea lanterns in the ceiling here. So that might be a little bit too close. That might melt that snow that's right there. So keep in mind, if you do want snow like this, and you're probably going to have to have it on the bottom layer here. So I have another two layers here. Okay, so yeah, that's probably going to melt. Now, let's cover that up with wooden trapdoors. And we're good. Okay. So that, whoop, I got stuck. Uh, that is the laundry room. If you wanted to, if it's still too dark, you could put a strip of carpet here and cover it up with sea lanterns. But this is the laundry room. Now this room is going to be the living room. So I'm going to grab some light gray concrete, some snow, and we'll have a couch right here. That's like an L shape. So we'll start it right around here. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be exactly where mine is, but somewhere around here. So kind of like an L shape like that. Actually, I'm gonna I don't like how it's in front of the doorway right there blocking it off. So let's move it over a little bit. 
Okay, that's good. Have an L shape there. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, actually, no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we kind of have like this little shape that comes out. So we'll have three, actually, all four layers here. So it matches with that. Okay, and then let's see. How are we going to do this? It should have been that smaller part. So we'll make this two more layers in height. We'll delete this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll put three more right here. Okay, so now you have like a bigger spot of the couch right here. If you guys ever seen a couch like this and you know what I'm talking about, it has just kind of like a bigger area here. All right, let's actually push this over one more block. So it's like right along the edge of this door frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's a little couch design you could do. And then I had a little TV over here. So I'm gonna use quartz stairs, quartz slab, and then black concrete and a button. Okay, so a quartz stair here and here. And then we'll just put two slabs stacked up on top of each other there. So you could actually just have a full block and then a layer of black concrete like that. Okay, and then a button. And that is a TV. And you can have a little table right here in the middle. So we'll have it four. No, we'll have it three blocks. Like that. All right. So that's pretty good. That's a little design you could do for the living room. It's not too much of a design, but it's something. There's not like that much room to actually have here for a lot of stuff. So then actually we could put some of the wooden trap doors on the side of here to give it more detail. And should we put some here too? Uh, no, we'll just leave the sides empty. You could if you want to, it's all up to you. What if we put half slabs up here? Might look a little weird. Uh, we'll keep it, why not? So you guys could put half slabs up, up there if you want to. And let's, uh, let's see. We could put, uh, maybe an end rod. I never tried this before. I was put two end rods stacked up on top of each other there. I've seen other people do this before on PC because they have the player heads. But I'm just going to use the Wither Skeleton Skull. And this can act as a speaker. Oh, it doesn't work. No. Let me see. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't, we can't stack a Wither or any type of skull on top of that. Dang it. That would have looked cool. If you guys are on PC, I don't know if that's like world edit. If you could stack something on top of that. Um, oh crap. There goes that idea. I was going to have wither skeleton skulls on top of this to act as speakers for the, uh, the TV. But I guess we'll just get rid of that. And if you want to, you could just put some blocks on the side of here. So let's grab some quartz. So blocks of quartz and put maybe whoops let's see three now we'll put two on each side and then we'll grab some item frames and then we'll put some put like a disc in there let's see if we could find it here we go we'll put the uh, the one that's black whoops there we go. So those could act as speakers if you want to. It looks pretty cool. Okay, what if we put some slabs on here? Okay, there we go. Now we got something. That's a little bit more detail you could do for this little TV area. Alright, I like that. What if we had stairs up here? I guess that could work too if you want that. It's just a little too high because of this little staircase here. So I'm just going to have the slabs. Alright. Pretty cool. And let's put, let's see, 
we'll have some carpet in the floor here but we're also or like sea lanterns in the floor but then we're gonna put carpet on top of it okay let's uh bring this in actually to right around there and then we'll put two layers of let's see two layers of gray carpet on the edge delete is that block Okay, and now we could have, let's see, that's probably still too close, so we'll patch that up. We'll have some sea lanterns in the floor here. Okay, and then we're going to use some white carpet and gray carpet. So we'll have two blocks of gray car or white carpet on each side and then gray carpet in the middle okay so that's good now we have a little decoration here let's actually bring this out more okay so now we have a carpet there we could have a painting here so let's patch this up so it doesn't shine through Okay, and then sea lanterns and then a painting. Oh no. Uh no, that's the same one. How about that one? Yeah, we don't have that. So that works. All right. So this is what we got so far. We got the living room, the laundry room, the hallway area, the bedroom, and the bathroom. Okay, now let's have a painting over here in the wall. So we'll cut out four spots and have some sea lanterns there. Uh, we won't have any there. We don't need to, I don't think. And we'll have... I think I had three... Um, let's see. Three and then three. Like that then we'll cover that up with or patch that up with sea lanterns and then I had just three single paintings on that so it kind of gives it a cool little design with the paintings so I'll go ahead and show you so one right there wait let's use that one and then that one and cover that up and that so I have three single paintings like that okay and we'll have three more over here and over here Okay, there we go. Took a while. I wanted to like try and have as many different paintings as I can. So that's pretty good. Let's have a four, like a, a four block wide or four block area painting there. Okay, let's fill in this little ce ceiling area right here with some sea lanterns. Cover it up with a wooden trap door. And then we'll have some over here as well. And we'll have it over one more. Patch that up. Okay, cover that up with wooden trap doors as well. Alright. Uh, we could have a carpet right here. And what else did I have here? I think I just had a little table, so let's do that. Quartz stairs, we already have the quartz slabs, so a table, whoops, right around here. So kind of like right where that window is. We'll have some slabs. All right, we'll put some decorations on there, but let's go ahead and have some carpet here. So we'll cut out some holes for some sea lanterns. 
and we'll actually push this in so let's grab some gray carpet and patch this up as well as this wood here okay and then we'll put some sea lanterns in the floor and guys I I don't know man I use the same carpet every time I just really don't think anything any of the other carpet colors look good so I guess I'll just try I don't know some brown and then light gray so we'll have gray here on the edge so four blocks in total and then brown in the middle so that works yeah that that's pretty good okay right here we could have some carpet because i know it's going to be a little dark let's actually have an end rod on top of this table and then we'll just have a skeleton skull like that that's pretty good let me get rid of the potion and see how bright it is in here i know it's still going to be dark okay so yeah it's still dark right here that's for sure uh, we could have a painting on the wall here. Okay. We could probably... Let's see, what? I, I, did I... I don't think I had anything else here. Let me just delete some of this. And maybe have a carpet here. I don't think the snow will melt. Wow, that is dark. That's scary. Okay, let's not look up. Oh yeah, I had some end rods going up here too. So make sure you're crouching. We'll put some there. Uh, as well as the top. And then like right in the middle. So I actually go back down here and put these all the way at the bottom. And let's see, where's the middle? Right here? Yeah, right here. Uh oh, I can't place it. There we go. Okay, so now we have some light going up the staircase. And then, I don't know, man. If I put a sea lantern there, it should melt. For some reason, it's not melting for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I stack them. They don't melt when they're stacked. But maybe if I had just a single one, we'll do a little test. What if I had just one right there? We'll see what that does. Let's cover this up with, let's see light gray in the middle and then gray on the edge okay it still hasn't melted normally it would have I don't know what's up with that I don't know um should we just leave it there we'll just leave it there we'll go back to it sometime at the end if I remember oh look this part melted Okay, so it definitely melted. I don't know why that didn't, or that, or that, but this one melted. Okay. So yeah, it will melt, that's for sure. Let's just delete that, and we'll, re we'll replace this little patch right there. I don't think it's going to melt with this right here, though. I think it'll be fine. But you'll definitely find out if you don't see your snow there. All right, oh yeah, let's cover this up with a painting. Uh, let's use the other one, there we go. Pretty good, all right. This is the living room area. That's a little dark right there. All right, whatever. Do we get every little part around here? That's bright enough. Oh, did this melt? Oh, that never melted. All right. Well, if you want, you can have like a table maybe over here. I'm not going to. All right, so now we have, this is the kitchen area. All we need to do in the garage is some lights. And then we have the second floor and then the attic. Okay, so we'll head on into the kitchen next. Okay guys, now for the kitchen design, I'm going to try to fill up as much space as possible because this is a pretty big area. So it's not going to be the same as the original kitchen design that we have at the original house. So, I don't know what I'm going to do first. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna have like everything on this wall. So like the um the oven and all that. We're gonna have a dining room table over here. So we'll do that. I'm gonna grab some gray concrete. Maybe some weighted pressure plates, some flower pots, and then some quartz stairs. So, first off, let's bring it out to right around here. So we got three spaces in between these blocks and this doorway. Then we'll bring it over so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, maybe seven. All right, let's put some quartz stairs right here. Okay, so yeah, seven blocks in length and then three blocks wide. Okay, and then we'll have three more stairs over here. All right, and now let's put maybe a weighted pressure plate there, there, and there. And then maybe a cup right around here and there. And maybe like right there. Okay, and now we could have some end rods coming down for some light. So I'm gonna grab, whoops, some iron bars and end rods. And we'll put maybe one coming down right here. So bring it down two, and then an end rod. Okay, and then one right here. Whoops, hang on. All right, there we go, and then the bottom. Okay, so now that is a little dining room table you could do, it's very simple. All right, and now over here is where we're gonna try to fill up as much space as possible. And I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do the layout. Uh, let's see. What can we have over here? First off, what block are we gonna use? Let's use some white concrete. I'm gonna have, I'm trying to just, Think of something that I've never done before. So maybe we'll put some white concrete in between the windows right here. And then we'll probably just bring it out two blocks like that. Um, and then maybe skip over two blocks and have another two like this. And let's put maybe like a three block wide sink here. And then, actually, I don't know. I don't really like that. All right, let's uh, let's scrap that. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to take my time on the kitchen so I can fill up all the space. Over here, last time I had like a little bar area here, which I really didn't like. Then I had, I think, basically everything over here. Let's see, we could definitely have something over here, so let's put some white concrete. Okay, maybe not have this as long. We could put an island in the middle. Alright, let's bring it out one more. We could have... Let's see, the sink over here, the oven over here, and then this could just be like a little sitting area. So we'll scrap this. We'll put some string underneath <laughs> or like on the floor right here. And then we'll cover it up with some white carpet. Okay, so like that. Actually, what did I do? Bring it in one more. My bad. So I have two spaces in between here. Uh, let's actually... Should we have it three blocks wide like that? Or should we just have it two? Uh, we'll just have it two. So we'll delete these. We'll put... Uh, I got rid of the stairs. Dang it. We'll put some quartz stairs here. And then we'll delete this, put some string, and then some uh, carpet like that. Okay. Over here, you're going to need some furnaces. 
and then we're going to need um, hoppers. Okay, over here we're gonna have levers to act as faucets. All right, and then right here we're going to have like a little oven hood. So let's actually bring this over one more block like that and then we'll have the oven hood like right here in the middle so I'm gonna use block of quartz maybe some quartz stairs and then some quartz slabs and then sea lantern okay so uh, let's put maybe like four blocks of quartz there and then let's see maybe maybe six in total like there so it brings it down to three have some slabs like that underneath as well we might not even need the stairs okay let's put whoops hang on Okay, I kind of want the sea lanterns here, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. So we'll just put them up in here. And then, let's see, why isn't this working? Oh, we need the stairs, okay. Like this. And then I'm, I want a, uh, an extra slab coming out on the side. So we'll see how that looks. Uh-oh, it's getting dark, hang on. Okay. Let's fill that in. How's that? Okay, there we go. So now that's like an oven hood. Okay, and then let's put a wooden pressure plate here to act as a cutting board. All right, that's a pretty good kitchen design. I like that. I like it more than the other house. Over here now, what can we have? Let's maybe just bring this all the way across. Oh yeah, maybe we could have... Oh, uh, there's not too much room actually. I was gonna say we could put some... What are they called? Cabinets up. But I'm not sure. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I don't like that. There's not too much space. We would have like three here. One over here and here, but that doesn't really look right. Ah, oh, great. Now we need brown concrete. We'll patch that up, my bad. Okay, there we go. We could put a painting in the wall. Oh, dang it. Put a painting in the wall right here, as well as maybe over here. We'll have to see what we're actually gonna put here. What could we put here? What else would you have in your kitchen like this? Okay, hang on. Maybe we could have a small little breakfast table here, even though that's kind of what this is. We'll have something else here. Okay, block of quartz. And then the, uh, oh, we already got string. And then we need white carpet. Okay, so that's like a little table. And that, that fills up space. That's pretty good. All right, let's have a painting on the wall over here. That's good, as well as this space here. All right, and then I had some half slabs going all the way around on the ceiling, just to give it a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna do that. And let's see, I didn't have the oven thing this oven hood here last time so maybe we could just wrap that around it that's good okay keep bringing this along okay how's that that's good let's put a painting in the wall over here
All right. Uh, maybe one right here. And then one over here. Okay, there we go. Is that everything for the kitchen? I believe so, so that turned out pretty good. All right, now all we need to do for this garage area is just put some light. So I'm gonna put sea lanterns right here on each side. Put some on the floor. We'll patch up those little spots after we uh, get all these lights in. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Okay, let's cover that up with, did I? Oh, I never put any lights in the ceiling there. We gotta do that. Let's get some wooden trap doors, cover all those up. That should be enough light. You should still be able to see in here. Okay, and then for this, we'll just put some white concrete, then the wooden trap door like that in the floor. Okay, let's go back in here, put some lights in the ceiling, and then that is it for, I think, the first floor. Okay, that's pretty good. That should be enough light. All right. There we go. I think that's everything on the, on the first floor. Now we could head on to the second floor. So up here, first off, we'll just head in here. This, I had some office desks over here. So I had like two side by side and then some chairs. Then I had like a carpet here. I might've had a table and that's it. And here is a bedroom. And then on this side, I had a pool table room. I had a couple chairs here. This is like the master bedroom area and then a bathroom. Okay. So first off, actually we'll do this big area here. Let's make sure we have enough of the potion. Let's clear our inventory, get the potion again. And now I'm going to use some dark oak wood slabs and I'm just going to fill all of this in. Actually, what? No, 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 no. I did not have dark oak wood slabs around here. My bad. I think I had two layers of gray concrete coming down. So if I grab the gray concrete, we had two layers like this. And then I had some stairs going all the way around. Okay, so let's grab some dark oak wood stairs. And wrap those all the way around. Okay, and then in the corner, I had a dark oak wood slab like this, just to give it more detail. So if we go down here, it has that shape. And I believe, I'm not too sure, let me see, what if I put... That's pretty cool actually, two slabs like that, or a full block in the corner. Okay, so now we have that. And we had a chandelier coming down right here. It's a little bit of a weird design uh, because it wasn't, normally I would have it just one block coming straight down and then we'll expand it. But this, in order for it to be center, it has to have like four spaces or two spaces. So it's a little bit weird, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's go ahead and grab some sea lanterns and some paintings and put it on the walls here. So one right here, one right around here. So we'll also have one on this side. And then one over here, over here, 
right here in the middle. Whoops, so basically just as many paintings as possible so we have enough light. And I think that's good. Okay, and then we'll have carpet in the floors right here for more light and then the chandelier. And it should be enough. Let's fill all this in. Okay, and now let's use our paintings to fill all that up. Okay, let's put some sea lanterns in the floor and that will cover it up with carpet. So up until there, then we'll go to this side and do the same. So starting right here, yeah. And we'll have this three blocks wide. So fill all that in. And I'm actually gonna push this in a little bit so we could bring this all the way to the corner. And now I'm gonna grab some white carpet, light gray carpet and gray. Whoops, I don't have enough spaces, hang on. Okay. So, maybe just two spaces of gray on the edge. And then one strip of white. And then light gray. Alright, and then over here we could fill all of this in. We'll bring it over two more, so it's one block away from uh, this carpet. And we'll have four blocks of white on the corner. And then one strip of gray, or light gray, and then gray in the middle. Alright, that's pretty good. And the chandelier, I gotta remember how to do it, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Let's go ahead, we'll do this room. Let's make sure we have enough of the potion. We'll go over here. I'm going to grab some light gray wool, some uh, light gray carpet. Where is it? Right here. And then some string. And what else do we need? Uh, quartz stairs. All right. So have two blocks of light gray wool like that on the edge of this window fill in the middle and then two more like that and now fill in the two spaces in between here with um string whoops and then cover this entire top up with a layer of light gray carpet and then switch to your quartz stairs and maybe have one here and here Okay, so that's a desk. If you wanted to have the chairs right in the center, you could just bring the desk out one more block on each side. And then have, let's see, just one block in the middle, I believe. And then you'll have three spaces for the chair. Alright, over here, let's patch this up. That's good. We'll have another painting in the middle. Another painting over here. As well as this side. One here. Okay, maybe going up the staircase here. So like that. Oh wait, what is this? Is that a painting? Oh no, that's the wood, isn't it? Yeah, that's the wood. Okay, so... That's actually gonna have, I think, some light coming off of it now. Where's that at? Oh, right there. 
Might be light coming off, I don't know. Okay. Let's use our end rods. Fill... Oh yeah, for some reason I didn't think I did that. Uh, fill all this in. Okay, and I'll cover it all up. Uh, I never use that wand, but let's just go ahead and do it. All right. There we go. Now, we'll have a small table over here. Okay, you can put whatever you want on that. I'm gonna carve out some holes in the floor for carpet, or for sea lanterns and then carpet. Oh, crap. Hang on, did we delete anything? I think we're good. Patch that up, whoops. Okay. And I got light gray, let's just get some gray. It's basically the same thing in every room, guys. I'm gonna try and think of some other ideas I could do instead of just like the same stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna be doing this for every room. Let's get some spruce saplings and then a flower pot. Maybe put some on the edge of this. That's good. Okay, let's put two skeleton heads like this, facing away from each other in the middle. That's good. All right, if you wanted to, you could have another carpet here. I'm going to put some sea lanterns in the ceiling as well as a wooden trap door to cover them up. So maybe one like right here, uh, right in the middle, and then right over here. Oh, we'll bring that in. Okay, over here. Cover all that up. Alright. I think that's good for this little room. And once again, you could put some sea lanterns and carpet down here because I think it's a little dark. And, oh yeah, we gotta do this little painting. Alright, that's good. You could put sea lanterns, or not sea lanterns, and rods going up the stairs like that to give off more light. I think that's what I did before. And here, I have some white concrete. I'm gonna put five like this right in the middle. Let's grab some gray concrete. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Whoops, oh, okay, okay, okay. So three blocks wide, four blocks long. And we'll just put some white concrete at the edge. And then we'll grab some snow blocks, or not blocks, but like caps like that. Up here, we could have a uh, flower pot and then a blue orchid maybe have one here and here in the middle we could have a painting oh no 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 not that one that's too big okay let's put some sea lanterns in the ceiling cover that up with wooden trapdoors okay now, what else did I have in this room? Um, did I have something here? Let's put a table over here. Actually, we'll do something a little different. So stairs like that, then a slab, as well as this side. Um, okay, what? I'm trying to think of what I could put here. I guess I'll just grab some, there's guess of gray concrete and then snow. We'll just have some chairs here. So like that. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that could just fill in some space. We could put, oh, well, it's going to be dark now because I was going to have carpet here. Let's put an end rod over here and this side. 
Okay, and I was, yeah, could, if we... You could put a strip of carpet here, but you can't have any... Um, and or not and rods, uh, sea lanterns there because it'll melt that snow. Let me make sure. Let's see if that's enough light. Um, yeah, see, it's a little dark here. I'm gonna bring down some iron bars and then an end rod, and I don't think that should melt it. So that gives us a little bit of light there. I would put a painting here, but that's a little small of a space. Alright, well it's good enough. I'm able to see. You should be able to see in the video too. And that's it for this bedroom. So that's pretty good. Good enough. You could put more decorations there. You could put... Oh yeah, I had some tables here. So two stairs and then a slab. I believe that's what I had, but if not, then it still works. Okay, you could put some, maybe some skeleton heads there or whatever, but that is it for this bedroom. Okay, we got this in here. This is still pretty bright. Okay, and then all of this is good. It's a little dark in these corners here, and we still got to put the chandelier. All right. Let's move on. We got the pool table room. This is taking a while. The furnishings normally don't take this long. This is a really big house. I think this is one of the biggest houses I've done as a tutorial so far. Like, this is bigger than the mansion. And that mansion, like, where is it? Over... Where's that mansion? If you haven't seen it, then go ahead and check it out. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, the mansion isn't even as big as this house. Just to so let you know, this house is bigger. So, we're gonna have a pool table room in here. But yeah, this is like a little desk area, office area, and then we got the bedroom. So looking pretty good so far. Okay, now for the pool table room, I got some green terracotta, some green carpet, hoppers, flower pots, spruce wood, signs and dark oak wood stairs and i'm going to start with my green terracotta i'm gonna place one two three right around there actually just bring it in one so right around there and then we're going to place one two three four five behind that so it's six in total and three blocks wide now let's place uh let's see one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, just uh, fill in all the, this entire side. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's going to be six. Then we're going to cut out the block. Oh, okay, okay. We have to bring this over one more. So it's seven in total. So three blocks wide, seven blocks long. And then we have the wood wrapped around. Then we're going to have a hopper in the corner. Okay, and then on the sides right here, we're going to have another hopper right in the middle. And now that is the pool table so far. Then we're going to cut out one, two, three right here. Put three signs. And then use the green, whoops, use the green carpet to cover up all that green terracotta. And so now that is a pool table. Get some flower pots, maybe put one there and right there. So that's going to act as the chalk for the tip of the pool stick. Okay. Now back here, I have some spruce wood. We'll put one right down the middle. We won't have it that high. We'll have it right around there we'll have one over here and one over here so all the same layer like that we'll put maybe like a spruce wood slab on top of it to add a little decoration and then we'll put signs back and forth like this whoops let's bring that down to the bottom and this is going to be kind of like the area where the pool sticks are just like kept 
So the pool sticks will just be hanging from here. Okay. Now, let's see. We could put... Here, let's grab some sea lanterns. Put two right there. Um, two here and here. Okay, and then on this side we could put two here. And then two right there. Okay. And now we could put some paintings. Let's actually have... No, we'll keep that too. We'll keep that too. Okay. So... Oh yeah, let's put some sea lanterns in the ceiling as well. And then one in the middle, or right around the middle. Let's get some um, wooden trapdoors. Patch all that up. And then let's grab some paintings. And now we could put a painting, let's see, right there. So that's good. Another one over here. Whoops. Okay. And then one over here. All right. What do we got? Two more. Okay, so we'll probably have just single blocks here. So like that and that. And then that whoops not that one again hang on that and crap that okay there we go i think that's it for the pool table room and it should definitely be bright enough in here all right now in here let's grab this clear inventory we'll get some light gray concrete and snow and i'm gonna have a chair right here as well as this side. Whoops. So they're just going to be side or like facing each other. And that's all we're going to have here. Just some chairs. Maybe some paintings on the wall. And let's put some sea lanterns in the ceiling. And cover it up with wooden trap doors. Okay, now we're going to have the little, uh oh, potion. We're going to have like the little master bedroom area here. So let's get some quartz and then quartz slabs. So three blocks of quartz right around here and then three slabs and whoops, then one two, three, four. So three blocks wide, four in length. And then maybe some slabs there, or blocks there. We'll have a slab there and then slabs at the bottom. So that's the bed. We already got snow. Okay, yeah. So then the pillow right there, you could put maybe one in the middle like that to add as an extra detail. So that is the bed. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, I had a desk. Let's put a desk right here. I had it on this side before, but there's not too much space. So we'll put it over here. I'm gonna use, let's use gray wool, gray carpet, and then what do we got? String, Where where's that at? Right there. So we got, whoops, one, two, one, two, three, and then the string. And then, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then the carpet. And we need a stair. Okay, so now we have a desk there. Now, uh, we could have some carpet up here, so we'll put some sea lanterns in the floor. All right, and then I'll have like an L shape like this, maybe, or cut those sides off or hang on. 
Um, yeah, let me get the light gray and the white. See how we could do this. So four white in the middle, and then light gray around that. Oh, there we go. So now we have a little design with the carpet. And then, let's see, over here we could have a little table. But if we put, oh, there we go. That's a little table design you can do. And then over here, I'll just have a little storage. All right, you can have carpet here if you want. I'm actually going to, but I'm just gonna have a couple sea lanterns. Whoops. Uh, that's actually good. I'll take a shin melt. Okay, so we'll just put sea lanterns here. Great carpet. Okay, we'll put a flower with a flower pot right here in the middle of this table. Okay, so now we have this room all completed. That's pretty good. It's filled up enough. Let's do the bathroom. Uh, I gotta remember what I did. Let's grab some quartz stairs, quartz slabs, block of, whoops, block of quartz. No, right there. Um, button, weighted pressure plate. So we'll have, I think I had the bathtub right around the middle. No, let's have it over here. So it's right in the center. Okay, so we have the bathtub there. We'll have the toilet in the middle. And then a sink over here. And we'll have it like a double sink. Get a lever for the faucet. All right, maybe put a little carpet down here. Uh, we'll just use gray. And actually we'll put light gray there so it's half and half. And then we'll have sea lanterns in the ceiling. And then the wooden trap doors. All right, I think that's it for this bathroom. You could put a little painting on the wall here. All right, that's pretty good. Put some flower pots here. Oh yeah, also you could use, I'm gonna use a white banner, a, ban a white banner to act as maybe some towels right here near the bathtub and then maybe like a hand towel I don't know like right around there okay so that's pretty good and that is here we can have a stripe to add more detail to this bed so it's just gray carpet or gray concrete like that if you want but I believe that is it for this floor then we just have the chandelier but yeah so we'll do the chandelier and then we have the attic and then we're done okay guys now for the chandelier i'm going to use some end rods and white stained glass panes and then for some extra light i'm going to use sea lanterns and wooden trap doors so for all right now let's put some extra light so like that do the same over here. Cover all that up. And now in the middle, we're gonna have a chandelier. And like I said before, I would normally just bring it down one block and then spread it out, but it will be off center. So we have to have, so this is the center right here. So we have to have two blocks of white stained glass panes there. So lined up with these sea lanterns. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Let's bring it down maybe like one more. 
and then have one, two, three layers out. Like that, actually no, let's bring it down another couple layers. So we got two, three, four. So on the fourth block, we could place one, two, three. One, two, three. At the top here, we could add uh, two more on each side and then one on each side of that, okay? I think this is too low. Yeah. Well, crap, let me just delete all that. Hopefully, you guys didn't follow along, I'm sorry. Trying to figure this out. We'll bring it back up a little bit. It's a little too low. Okay. So we'll start it Actually, we'll bring this down, and then we'll start it right here. So we'll bring that out three. And then two over here on each side. And then we'll put some end rods here. Okay. And now we'll bring it down. Maybe like... Let's see, two more, and then right here, we'll bring it out four, maybe? That's too much, what the heck, how did I do this? Maybe just bring this out two at the top. All right, there we go. And then on the sides, bring it out three, and then an end rod here. I don't think this is how I had it at the other house, that's why I'm a little confused. But that works, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is like better than the other house. Maybe we could put one block in each corner like this. Let's see how that looks. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Uh, I don't like that, so we'll delete that. So we'll just leave it like this. So that is the chandelier. I'll take a flyby so you guys could see it. Let's go up here, see from all angles. Pause it if you need to, but that is the chandelier. And now, we're going to head off to the attic. Oh! We never put sea lanterns up here. Let's do that. That'll give off some light. Here, let's bring this back a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. All right, uh, that's good. Okay, now we can head up to the attic. So for this area, I actually didn't do anything just because I didn't actually show it in the cinematics for the, for the intro of the videos. So I'll probably just have some chairs here. On this side, we can have some carpet and a little table. And then we have a bedroom up here and then a bathroom in there. So let's try to get this done really fast. I know this video is like probably already really long. I normally, I don't know, I like to have my tutorials. Actually, let's do something. If somehow you made it to this part of the video, then leave a comment called, um, I, I don't know, what, what should the word be? I'll think about it. Comment the word dolphin, all right? If, if, you, if you guys made it to this part of the video, just comment the word dolphin and I'll know. And I don't know, the first person to comment dolphin, I'll pin your comment. Because it really does mean a lot when you guys make it to the end of the videos. This is gonna be off center, but just so we have enough light, that should be good. So yeah, guys, just comment dolphin and 
yeah, uh, the first person to do it will have their comment pinned, hearted, whatever. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do a shout out for the next video. That's not a promise. But I'll start something new where if you guys make it to the end of the video- Oh no, you guys will just skip right to the end. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'll just like pin your guys' comment, whoever does it first, if anybody actually does it. So yeah, it'll let me know if you guys actually make it to the end of the video. Let's put some sea lanterns in here. Okay. And that's good. We'll have some chairs here, so I'm just gonna use white concrete. Maybe just a little couch thing like that. And then maybe a couch over here. Okay, let's grab some... Whoops, whoa. Some snow. Alright, so we got a couch there, and then a little chair over here. Alright, you can have a little table here, maybe. Alright, so that's something you could just fill this little space in with. Kind of like a loft type area. And then over here, we'll just have some carpet with sea lanterns. No! Patch that up. Did we delete anything there important? No, I think we're good. So, sea lanterns. And then, we'll grab some light gray carpet, white carpet, and gray carpet. Okay, let's have, we'll clear that, quartz stair and a quartz slab. I will bring it over one more over there. Slab, and then you guys could have a decoration there, you could have some paintings here. Alright, so that's it for this area. And now we have the bedroom. So let's just grab some gray concrete and some snow, we won't have a a frame or anything, we'll just have the bed. Okay, so that's a bed. Now, let's see. Uh, what did I have? I don't think I had that much in here. Let's get some quartz stairs. We'll put them side by side. Whoops, like that. So this is gonna be like a little nightstand type thing next to your bed. Uh, let's grab some quartz blocks of quartz. We'll have a little storage thing there. I had something here. I had oh oh I had a desk. Okay. We'll grab gray wool, gray carpet, and some string. I think I had a maybe a big desk here. Maybe not, but we'll do it either way. Make it a little bit different than the other ones. Okay, we'll put a chair here. So now we have a desk. All right, you could put some flower pots there. Should we bring this bed out one more? It looks a little small. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll bring the bed out five blocks. That works. You can have carpet here. We'll have, let's see. Maybe we can have a, ta or, uh, what did I just say? I was gonna say table, but a TV right here. Let's grab some black concrete. Whoa. And then a button. Okay, and then carpet with sea lanterns on the floor. Maybe some paintings on the wall. Oh, I never did that. Wooden trap doors. Okay. And then in here. 
Let's actually, no, we'll just use some quartz stairs for the bathtub back here. All right, and then we had a toilet. We'll have the toilet right here in the middle, so a block of quartz, a stair. Um, let's see, a slab. And then a weighted pressure plate and a button. Okay. Over here we'll have the sink. So get a hopper. And then let's also get some white banners. We'll have one like right there. And then right there. That should be good. You can have a painting right here. Oh no you can't. Hang on. Because we got the TV over there. Let's patch that up. We'll just have... Let's see, we need some type of light source here. Do we already... Oh yeah, you're gonna need a lot of light here. So have a carpet definitely here. Have a bunch of paintings on this wall. Maybe have a painting up here if you want. So you have enough light in this room because it is gonna be dark. Maybe have some end rods on this side of this table. It shouldn't melt. Let's go in here. Let's grab an end rod, put it on there. And then, whoa, no. Um, we could have a strip of carpet with sea lanterns here. Okay, so that works. All right, and now I think we are done with the Tudor style house. Alright guys, so that is it for the Tudor style house tutorial, and if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.